We spend so much of our lives driving from place to place. I'm just going to stop. Right here? Yes! Save us a seat! Shouldn't it be easier and safer to get where we want to go? Since 2009, our team at Google has been developing fully self-driving technology and testing it on real city streets every single day. Until, after more than a million miles, we were ready to take a big step forward. In 2015, we completed the world's first truly driverless ride on public roads. Just a person in a car, no steering wheel, no pedals, navigating everyday traffic. Well, I've never been in Austin, Texas. Now I'm driving in Austin, Texas. It's a profound experience for me to be alone in a car. A very important segment of my life was cut away when my vision failed. And a self-driving car would give me a huge part of my life back. This is just the beginning. We're looking ahead to a new way, a better way for everyone. Say hello to Waymo. Hello, my name is Ali, and I'm making history. This is a huge day in automotive history. Not only is it the day where Ford Motor Company was incorporated June 16, 1903, but also it's the day where we got people comfortable with the idea of riding around in a completely self-driving vehicle. I'm Jay Rogers, and I'm the CEO and co-founder of Local Motors. I am the first cognitively enabled vehicle. I seat 12 passengers. And you can ask me anything. Ali, why don't you say hello? Hi everyone, my name is Ali. I'm a self-driving vehicle powered by IBM Watson technology. I can help people get around National Harbor. Ali, I'm hungry. Where can I get some food? National Harbor has some great seafood. Would you like that? That sounds great. What's good? Well then, try the Crab Cake Cafe. All right, I'll go there for dinner. Okay, but don't forget your umbrella. There is a severe thunderstorm warning tonight. The sensor set on this vehicle allows us to be able to feed data to Watson and feed data back to Ollie to make life more enjoyable. Thanks, Ollie. By the way, I like your bow tie. <laughs> I'm what's next in automotive innovation. I come from J and the engineers at Local Motors. Local Motors is a technology company that it's here to revolutionize a 120 year history of the way that vehicles are made. I still remember the first time someone told me about Local Motors and they said, well, we have a 3D printed car. And then I saw their vision in projects like Ollie. You're going to see this shift. You're going to see the vehicles become more highly automated, ultimately autonomous. You're going to see vehicles become a cognitive. And so Watson IoT Auto Lab is very much around the future of that cognitive experience. Not all of the information, not all of the capability for the vehicle is now going to be on vehicle, be enhanced by things in the cloud. And the best part, this is just a start. I'm about to go global. Uh, by the end of the year, you'll see Ollie in Copenhagen, and you'll see him in uh, Las Vegas, you'll see him in Miami-Dade County, and several other places around the world. I can create a platform for all developers to engage and shape the future of self-driving vehicles. We co-create. It's our people and their people together, side by side, creating the future of cognitive mobility. It was very exciting to us when IBM approached us and said, could we partner with you and putting Watson IoT into one of your vehicle sets, and could we do it quickly? And you have to be able to ask questions, just like my passenger asks me, are we there yet? You can ask Ollie these same questions. We started on this project three months ago, 
And three months ago doesn't mean we made a prototype. We sold our first 10 Ollies today. That's a dream, and, and it's possible because of all this technology. Well, so long for now. My name is Ollie. It was sure nice to meet you. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the Mercedes-Benz vision of the car of the future. This is our concept car, F015 Luxury in Motion. The automobile of the future embodies new values, as Daimler CEO Dr. Dieter Zetsche outlined in his keynote at the world's largest electronics show. In the future, the car grants access to the single most important luxury goods of the 21st century, private space, and quality time. 
The visionary idea of a car as an oasis of comfort and wellness was consistently implemented in the F-015 and became a reality for one night on the streets of Las Vegas. Such a car drives autonomously and completely emission-free. Based on this overall concept, uh, there is a completely new opportunity, more space, more time to do something different. I can work here or I can only relax and see how beautiful such a relaxed driving on the strip at midnight in a future car is. Displays integrated into the car's doors conveniently provide intuitive access to any desired information at any given time. Futuristic design meets ultra-modern luxury and results in maximum passenger space. These exciting features were received with great enthusiasm at the presentation on the Las Vegas Strip. We offer a completely new interior concept, really roomy, with uh, turnable seats and therefore the passenger inside of the car, they can much better communicate, they can relax. With the F-015 luxury in motion, Mercedes-Benz begins a journey into the automotive future where cars are no longer mere transport vehicles but have finally become mobile living spaces.